Exercising can actually ruin your weight loss efforts. Too much of a good thing really can become a bad thing pretty quick. And even when it comes to a weight loss journey, exercise done wrong really just blows up the whole thing. Welcome back, Weight Warriors. I'm Mike. I'm a fat guy who's trying to not be fat anymore by making lifestyle changes. Before we get into the dangers and all the bad stuff of what I'm talking about here, let's understand what over-exercising really means. So over-exercising refers to when you push your body well beyond its limits and really engage in excessive exercise where you're going way too hard, way too often, and you're not allowing for adequate rest and relaxation between exercise you know, sessions. When we over-exercise, our bodies experience various physical dangers, and these things include like a increased risk of injury, such as sprains, strains, and stress fractures, because really so much repetitive strain on our muscles and joints is not great and it really weakens, you know, everything that you're going on when you go that hard at all times. It also is pretty bad about weakening our immune system and making it more likely that you're going to get sick or get infections from, you know, just live going through life. Along with injury and immune system, you also will be experiencing likely chronic fatigue and decreased energy levels as our bodies are really struggling to keep up with the excessive physical demands that you're putting on it. Finally, one of my personal fears because I love my sleep, but disrupted sleep patterns. So not just having too much exercise, which, you know, does try to get you more rest, you know, you need to have more time just to try to recover. But if when you're on a tight schedule and you're not allowed to get that rest, it messes up your sleep pattern. Then also usually when people are over exercising and getting all that intensity in, oftentimes that is happening closer to their bedtime to begin with. So it's harder to get your body to actually relax and get a good night's rest. I don't know about you, but all those sound pretty terrible and the opposite of what we want to strive for here on the Weight Warriors channel. So really avoiding over exercising is kind of what we're going for and trying to get good fitness and really improve our weight loss journey. And with that, if you want more good information, hit that like and subscribe to the Weight Warriors channel and comment down below if you're enjoying this video so far. But like I said, over exercising is not really sustainable and it has a lot of negative impacts, but all those negative impacts aren't just on us physically. It can also take a toll on our mental and emotional well-being as well. So here are some potential consequences of over exercising on your mental. Number one, increased stress levels. Yeah, you're going to be have extra stress just not even on your body, but also you're going to be stressing out when you're always trying to go hard in the gym. Number two is increased cortisol levels. So that whole stress hormone thing where your body's always in like the parasympathetic sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight. If your body's always in that freak out mode, it's going to be really hard to have any sort of relaxation. And then the third that you can develop is an addiction to exercise, which yeah, that's a real thing because people treat it as this therapy session where they beat the hell out of themselves. They have the sick satisfaction where they put in this damage to themselves. So they must deserve this cookie that they're about to have. Now, there are some quotes around this psychologically that I, that I like, you know, cool stuff that people put up on the wall, like, you know, pay him, pay the man. Pressure is a privilege. Kill the old self. That's not who I am. And, you know, things like that. And it's like those sound really cool, but they're not very healthy, especially not long term. And oftentimes when you're over exercising, you become totally obsessed with exercise. And some people can't even stop themselves from literally doing it all the time. I mean, like five hours in the gym, it gets really crazy and it goes well beyond healthy and becomes a bit of a problem. And it's a problem because, well, you might get hurt. It's not healthy. Uh, you're working out way too much. You're going to feel tired. You're going to mess up your hormones and you might even get sick more often. So it's really not good to be over exercising. And that's just the physical and mentally it can make you anxious, guilty, and make you really care about a lot of stuff that's not really driving you towards your health. And it also can mess up your relationships and make you feel alone. And the, one of the worst things about this whole thing too is when you put in all that extra energy in the gym you become addicted to working out and you over exercise you think that the returns that you're going to have on the energy and effort that you put into it are going to be one-to-one -one, which that's not really how it works when it comes to weight loss and health and that it's more consistently over time rather than intensity over a few weeks and so if you become addicted to the gym and over exercise a ton you're going to have a problem with likely a negative body image which is going to bring an unhealthy obsession with achieving those unrealistic goals and also having an unrealistic expectation on what your physique should be. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how much that I work out or how many hours I put in the gym or whatever I eat, I am never going to look like Arnold. Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way. I'll be back. There are so many things that are outside of our control when it comes to genetics and different things that really you think that you put in all this crazy amount of over exercising and training 
It just doesn't work that way. And because it doesn't work that way, it often leads to burnout and depression, which causes a lot of issues. But you know, another one is it really causes you to lose the enjoyment and activities that used to be fun, including working out. So what I've seen is people have gotten really excited in January and February and gone super hard in the gym and over exercise and done sprints when they're like 300 pounds. And then they don't have the results that they think they should have. And again, like I said, they get burnt out, depressed. They may have got an injury. They may have had some other issue and then they fall off the wagon and didn't become a lifestyle change, which is again, what we're going for here. But don't worry. Like I said, I'm not here to scare you. I'm not, I'm trying not to scare myself in this with being so negative because really exercise is great and altogether very important and a key to having a successful weight loss journey and you know having a healthy life. But the importance here, like I've said with many topics, is having a balanced approach that prioritizes our health and well-being. So with that, here are some tips to really try to avoid the whole over-exercising lure and make healthy lifestyle changes. So number one is try to listen to your body and give yourself adequate rest and recover on days that you're not working out. And by listening to your body, I'm not talking about when your body is telling you to eat Oreos. I'm talking about when you feel so sore that you can't, you know, get out of bed. You went too hard. You need to slow it down in your intensity of your workouts. The second tip I would say is try to vary your workouts and, you know, focusing on strength training or resistance training, but also try to incorporate some flexibility and low level cardio like walking. You don't always need to be doing squats, even though, you know, compound lifts are very important, but you don't need to be going super hard in one specific area because you're trying to spot that one area. Try to keep a good vary of different exercises and make sure that you're hitting your whole body. Next up, we have number three, which is incorporate activities that you generally enjoy that don't feel like work or make exercise this, this chore. Try to find things that make it fun and a sustainable part of your lifestyle. Some people really are attracted to CrossFit because they have this athlete allure. Other people are interested in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu because they you know like wrestling, whatever it may be, but find something that you really enjoy. And it can even be golf, disc golf, you know, something that gets you out where you're walking and just being physically active. And then next up, number four, we have set realistic goals that align with your abilities and consult with a fitness professional along the way if needed. I kind of bundle four with, you know, set realistic goals and work with a fitness professional because, you know, it is really nice to have that accountability, but they will also help you be realistic about what you can achieve on a timeline and make sure you're not doing anything too crazy. Like I said, it all comes down to balance. And so, like I said, if you take those four tips, it really help you to avoid any sort of over exercise, which again can lead to serious consequences on both our physical and mental well being. So take care, take care of yourselves, find that sweet spot where exercise is enjoyable, beneficial and sustainable for your life. And here's to a healthier and happier you moving forward.